Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about AMC because AMC is uh, not doing too well. AMC is down about 30%. Well, now it's 40%, as you can see here, 38.32%. It was at around $18, then it was at 11 today. It got to a high of about 26 on August 16th, which was just six days ago. And now it's all the way at $11. And so the question, like the big question is, why is this happening? So the big news that broke out today was AMC shares tanked over 30% as Regal Cinemas, another cinema uh, owner outside of AMC, because there's a lot of different types of movie theaters, warns of a potential bankruptcy. AMC down more than 30%, building on a loss of more than 26% last week. The value of the newly traded ape shares likely offset Monday's losses for many shareholders, which we're going to talk about what those ape shares are, because they are also very interesting. And the drop comes as rival Cineworld said on Monday, it is considering filing bankruptcy. Now, what does this mean and why is this affecting AMC? If the rival cinema uh, movie chain is basically saying, hey, we're it's looking like we're going out of business. It becomes very unlikely for another movie chain like AMC to be able to survive. There is not a differentiating variable that is fundamentally unique about AMC over rival cinema outside of its meme-like cult-like following, which is great for the short term and for random swings in the stock, but not for the actual underlying thesis of the business. Um, and if it's not changing for the business, then that's not really going to be the best. So after Cineworld released a warning about its liquidity position last week, AMC CEO Adam Aaron said in a statement, that we remain confident about AMC's future and that the company was quite optimistic about movies coming in the fourth quarter and in 2023. Even as 2022 has seen big movies like Top Gun Maverick, instead of streaming only services, the US box office remains well below its pre-pandemic levels, which makes sense. Even though the pandemic has started to end and people start are starting to go out more, it is rather unlikely that people are going to the movie theaters when our entire uh, consumption habits have fundamentally changed. I mean, like you go on Netflix, you go on HBO Max, you find the new Batman movie that's on HBO Max. Like people want to see things in the comfort of their home. And that's not something that just happened out of nowhere. That happened because we've been conditioned to do that over the past two years due to the pandemic, which is why it's obviously a bit weird that AMC is up or AMC has really any substantial value than the $4 or $3 that it was at at the lows of the pandemic because the underlying business has not changed. Nothing has increased. Nothing unique has happened happened. Uh, if anything, it's gotten shorted worse and maybe had even worse higher rallies, but nothing has changed on AMC's balance sheet to make it better. AMC also reported that it had more than $5 billion in long-term debt at the end of the second quarter. That total climbs to more than $10 billion when including lease obligations and other long-term liabilities. Now, a lot of people are saying that these meme stocks are still doing really bad because you see things like Bed Bath & Bed Bath and Beyond that are up more than 300%. Ryan Cohen sold out a lot of his position on Bed Bath & Beyond, and he's the chairman of GameStop, which makes you question someone being the chairman of a meme stock company selling out of their other position on another meme stock. It's like the definition of a pump and dump. And so you're you're, you're basically thinking this, this thing doesn't have any chance to survive. Ape, and, and, th and this is the other thing that we have to talk about. AMC's new Ape units are a new meme-friendly way for the theater chain to raise cash fast. They issued what they are calling a preferred special dividend to shareholders, uh, which is called an ape unit. Obviously, they're naming it ape because if you're a part of the AMC shareholder cult, you refer to yourself as an ape. The new ape units are a corporate finance tool at their core because the shares create a new way for AMC to raise money. So the theater chain's new preferred class share called ape units began trading on Monday. The special dividend seems to be keeping in with CEO Adam Aaron's aggressive marketing efforts to appeal to the retail investors who call themselves ape. Again, the CEO has kind of put himself in line with the ape family. The ape units are a corporate finance tool at their core. When its stock price soared in 2021, the beleaguered theater chain sold millions of common shares to keep itself afloat during the pandemic because they didn't have any money coming in because they weren't in business. But eventually it ran out of its allotment. Shareholders declined to prove additional shares, uh, sh sales because shareholders don't want to get diluted. As a result, the initial eight units were distributed free of charge, but the company's filing said it has the right to sell more of these units in the future. Kind of saying, hey, we're giving you these eight units for, for being a shareholder of AMC, but we also have the right to issue more of these, which obviously is going to dilute more of your ownership of the company without additional shareholder approval, which means they don't need, uh, you know, written into the, the fabric of the law of these units, these eight units is that they don't need shareholder approval to get more. AMC said it's currently authorized to issue up to 1 billion of these units and that it's distributed a little more than half of that total with the dividend. So about more than 500 million of those ape units. Uh, Aaron said, we believe ape should let AMC raise capital, pay debt and do more. Not good news for the doubters. 
Uh, when they say raise capital, pay debt, and do more, they're doing it at the cost of you, the shareholder, because if they're issuing more shares, then you have less ownership of the company because your piece of the pie has to go down if there's more parts of the pie and your piece doesn't increase. The creation of the APE unit provides AMC with a path to raise incremental capital in the equity market. We suspect AMC will take advantage of its current share price to lower its debt balances, given the rally that it had in the past week. Uh, City analyst Jason Bosnitz said, while the bottom line of, of AMC for the APE units will not be clear for a while, there are details that investors in both the APE units and the common stock should know now. Shares of AMC are down nearly 37% on Monday. So the ape unit thing was like okay news. I mean, it rallied a bit last week, guiding up to twenty six. But the fact that cinema that re, that uh, the another cinema chain is going out of business, it just goes to show that it is unlikely that the underlying asset of the business of AMC has much potential to be able to go up if other uh, companies are going bankrupt. The, the way I would sort of uh, make a similarity here is imagine if Google started going bankrupt, or not bankrupt, that's a, that's a big word, but let's say Google's ad business started going down uh, substantially. Well, who's the other second biggest advertiser on the planet? Facebook, Google and Facebook. Why? Because if you have a company and you have to market your product, these are the number two places, these are number one and number two places you go. Search-based traffic is phenomenal for conversions and Facebook's feed and Instagram's feed actually converts uh, to people being able to get you to do something, whether it's buy a product or download an app. And the targeting mechanisms on those platforms are phenomenal. If these both, if both of these platforms face a se severe advertising decline or one of them does, the other one likely is as well. Because advertisers spend a lot on Google and they spend on Facebook. If Google, for some reason, has you know 50% less advertiser spend, that doesn't mean that's going to Facebook. It means there's a problem in the macroeconomic cycle of advertising as an industry, which means Google gets hit, Facebook gets hit, and if Google and Facebook, the tech companies get hit, all of the media companies that rely on advertising get hit, Snapchat gets hit, all companies get hit at the end of the day because advertising is going through a cycle. And so it makes sense in the broader economy when one section of the economy has multiple players within it, like a movie theater chain, uh, and one of them is going out of business or one of them is doing really bad, it doesn't mean the other one is doing fine. If one place is not getting people to come into the movie theaters, why would the other one get people to come in theaters? That means there is a problem with consumer behavior at scale, not the underlying businesses because the businesses aren't performing because consumer behaviors aren't the consumer behavior is not matching what the businesses need them to do just like if people weren't buying ads on google and facebook it means people might not be converting off those ads which means there's a problem with consumer behavior and the macroeconomic cycle to get people to buy ads in the first place uh this is not good for amc if you bought amc at 26 dollars and it is down 40 percent, it's going to be hard to see it coming back now could it have this meme stock rally even with all this dilution with ape units maybe it depends on how strong the cult is I personally don't believe that's going to happen. And I honestly never bought into AMC because I don't think there is truly any fundamentals. You can say certain stocks are meme stocks here and there, but if they're actually producing cash flows and revenues and they have products and they have trajectories and they have a vision, it makes sense. For AMC, I don't know what the vision is, especially when they seem to be just taking advantage of their shareholders by diluting them more and by making them feel as if they're apes, when in reality, the ape is probably not going to end up eating its banana because there are no bananas to eat. Thank you guys for listening and watching. Hope you appreciate this. I'll see you in the next one.